I have never not been active in Alpha Kappa Alpha since 1993. First saw the lady in a pink and green. She asked me, what do you want to be? I had a wonderful teacher when I was in the sixth grade, and she was the first one to look at me, and she said, you know what? You're going to be an Alpha Kappa Alpha woman when you grow up. When I was growing up, uh, I was surrounded by a lot of women that were members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. So when I got to uh, Xavier University, I knew I wanted to be part of that organization and make a, a contribution. I joined because that's all I knew. My mother was an Alpha Kappa Alpha and all of her sisters. I was raised knowing the Alpha Kappa Alpha way. I wanted to be a part of something that was special, that was moving, it's historical, and I also wanted to make sure that I make an impact as part of the organization. I said I want to be an AKA because Alpha Kappa Alpha is the only way. I couldn't ask for a better support system. It was always someone who was there to listen to anything that I had to say because they all had some of the same struggles. You're going to always meet um, someone no matter where you go. And what happens is that you can always definitely lean on your sisterhood to be there to support you. I didn't see the Delta flicker, I saw the light, cause in my heart I knew my choice was right. I'm an executive coach. I've learned a lot about leadership, professional development, and um, helping individuals maximize their own performance, as well as how to achieve their goals. I went um, to Morehouse School of Medicine and did my residency at Howard University Hospital. And my career path has excelled because I was an AKA. If you meet other sorority members, it automatically lets them know that you are for excellence, for service, and for what is best for mankind. Step, step. Soul Stepping Soros with a Soul Stepping Soros of AKA.